Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 836. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about doing VLOOKUP. Here's X2, and I want to look up the X2 here and return that 22% to the cell. Now, we're going to see four examples of when VLOOKUP gives us trouble. And let's just look at this first example here. I'm going to say, hey, VLOOKUP, look up that comma within this table. First column has the column where we're going to match the x2 to the x2, or whatever's there in this first column. Comma. The second column has the number I want to throw back into the cell, so I put a 2. Comma, and I'm doing exact match, so I'm going to put a 0. I have words that are not sorted, so I have to do exact match. I'm going to hit Enter and NA. So this video is all about what happens when you clearly can see there is an x2 here and an x2 here, when it, it, it appears that they look the same, but they're not matching. We'll see four possible problems. Well, the first thing you do is when you can visually see, right, you go and look at the data. You come over here, you put the cell in edit mode. You come over here, you put the cell. Ah, there it is. There's an extra space. Now, if you have a big column and you don't want to go through and manually find everything, we can easily use the trim function to get rid of spaces. So I'm going to click in this cell. And for the lookup value, I'm going to trim it. Now, the trim is great. It gives you a haircut. No, no. It actually puts you on a diet. No, no. All it does is remove extra spaces. Now, if it's a text string that you're trimming, it leaves single spaces between words. All right, so now it's going to properly see x2 and match it against x2. The thing to remember is x2 space is different than x2. And if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see, sure enough, it's x2 and it's text. Notice those double quotes means it's text. I'm going to click Escape. Here's another situation equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to look up that value within this table, comma 2, comma 0. Now, what's going on here? Well, if you put this cell in edit mode, put this cell in edit mode, oh, there's spaces in the table. Now, again, if you, you have just a few values, you should go through and look, right, and fix them. But what if you have a huge table and you don't know where the spaces are? No problem. Instead of using the trim on the lookup value, you can use it on the table. Now, look at this. The trim function text, that argument is expecting a single text item. If I hit F9, you can see, I mean, obviously, I have multiple items I'm throwing into this. So as soon as you put multiple items, items into a Arg function argument that's expecting one, you've created an array formula. And you have to use a special keystroke to tell Excel that I am creating an array formula. Now, if I hit Enter, value error means I did not use Control-Shift-Enter. I didn't use the magic keystroke that, that you use to tell Excel I'm doing an array formula. Control-Shift and Enter. Now, when you look up here, you can see those curly brackets. That's Excel telling you that you've created an array formula. It understood when you did Control-Shift-Enter. Those can't be typed in. Uh, now, one thing about trim is what does it do? It, it actually treats anything as text. So even though it's returning 0.13, which is the number behind 13%, it's aligned to the left. So you can see that it is a number stored as text. Now, if you're going to use this in a formula like times, and then you multiply it by some sales amount, the act of doing a, a math operation on a number stored as text will convert it back to a number. But what are we going to do here? We just want to we want the number. Whoops, I forgot Control Shift Enter. We want the number, not a number stored as text. So we'll do some operation like plus zero. I forgot Control Shift Enter, or you could even you know do all sorts of things. Have a double negative, and then Control Shift Enter. All right. So those, the act of doing some math operation on a number stored as text, converts it back to a number. Now let's look at a different situation here. I'm going to look up this two, and you should already be suspicious because that two is aligned to the left. Anytime you see a number aligned to the left. Now, it could be left aligned, but anytime you see it like this, you're suspicious. And what's happening is this is a number stored as text. Now, here's a lead apostrophe here. It could be that the cell is formatted as text or something else. What's happening is 
that's a number, and this is a number stored as text. You're never going to get a match. 2 is different than a 2 stored as text. All right, so we can deal with this um, uh, in a straightforward way. We could either do any operation on this that doesn't change the value. So I'm going to add 0. And when I hit Enter, I get my 0 .0425. Now, you can check this out. The actual value in D8, when I hit F9 key, that's text. You can see those double quotes. That means Excel thinks it's text, Control-Z. But when you highlight this and hit the F9 key, now VLOOKUP has a number that it can match against a number. I'm going to click Escape. How about this one, VLOOKUP. I'm going to look up this 77 comma within this table right here. First, uh, VLOOKUP always going to take the value and try to match it in with something in the first column, comma, 2, comma, 0. Now you can already see visually, right? When I hit Enter, I got my NA. But visually, ah, oh, this looks like it's stored as text. Now again, you could fix it if it was a small data set. But what would you do if? Uh, you know, you had a, a lot of values and you didn't want to do it manually. Well, we can either convert that to a number or this to text. Again, number 77 is not, cannot be matched against text 77. So I'm going to convert that to text. I'm going to ampersand shift 7 and double quote. Actually, Taking the number, joining, anytime you join something, it like the trim function just a moment ago, it'll convert it to text. And now when I do this, it's still just 77. There's no extra space. Whoops, I'm going to hit F7. Oh, I'm sorry, F9 key. F7 is spell check. But you can see there's no extra spaces. It's just taking the number and converting it to text. Now, text 77 can be matched against text 77. I'm going to click Escape. I messed that all up. Let's try it again. Ampersand, double quote, and then Enter. All right, so now it can match. Now, if you wanted to do it in a slightly different way, you could, and I have the formula right there, right? You can say equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to look up a number, comma, here's the table, comma, 2, comma, 0. Now the table has text. And now what if I wanted to convert all those to numbers? You could come here and plus 0. But check this out. Here we are doing an operation on more than one value. So that means we have an array formula. So you have to, if you don't, if you just hit Enter, it gives you value error. That means please use Control-Shift-Enter on, on this array formula. So I'm going to Control-Shift and Enter. And that will give us the same value. All right, so that's a little bit about not matching values, lookup value to first column of a lookup table, when you can clearly see that they should be exactly the same. Sometimes it's extra spaces in the lookup value. Sometimes it's extra spaces in the lookup table. Sometimes it's text number against number or the reverse. All right, see you next video.